Greetings, and welcome to this week's edition of the Pastor's Playbook. Oh, he's staring at the camera, Paul? Okay, all right. Family, God has been tremendously leading us as we are exploring and examining the most riveting book of Hebrews. You know our title by now is Looking to Jesus. And as we're going through the book of Hebrews and the intention of the writer is unfolding, we are being exposed to such wonderful knowledge about who Christ really is. In chapters 1 and 2, we were shown how Christ is superior to the angels. He's not just a, a better angel or the best angel even. He's the creator of angels. You remember the song, What a Mighty God We Serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. That's Jesus. He's situated above the angels, far superior to their ministry and to the covenant that they introduced. And the writer in chapter 2 wants to clarify, because in chapter 1 he shows Christ's divinity as the Son of God. But he also explains that although Christ came as a man, he was only made a little lower than the angels for a little while. It was a temporary change of position, if you will, for Christ to live the fullness of the human experience. Why, you may ask? I'm so glad. Because he, Christ had to become man in order to redeem man. Since the first man, Adam, was the one who destroyed our relationship with God, it took another man, Jesus Christ, to restore what had been broken. And so in his ministry as a man, at the end of chapter 2, the writer introduces us into the next great section of Hebrews, which is showing us Christ as the great high priest. Specifically in chapter 2, verse 17, he's called our merciful and faithful high priest. And so now we're going to embarge on this new journey of discovering Christ as the high priest. And I want you to join us and understand all of the implications and gain a greater appreciation for Christ's representation and mediation between God and man as our faithful and our merciful high priest. We're in chapter three now. And now as we transition into chapter three, we're going to see all of the wonderful implications of the ministry of Christ as our high priest. As the high priest, Christ serves as the mediator or the representative of man before God and with God to man. He's our great intermediary. He is the one who advocates for us, who intercedes for us because he understands us. And so we talked about on Sunday how he came as a man to help us. And we're going to see this unfold even more as we look at his ministry as high priest from chapters 3 to chapter 10, verse 18. So we're going to be here for a while. Settle in, buckle in, get yourself ready. Uh, if you've not been up to speed with us, go back and check out the previous messages and Bible studies on our Facebook and YouTube channel. And you'll be ready to jump right in where you left off by this Sunday as we continue to look to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. God bless you.